So these are some uh, graph spacer strategies I found that work pretty good. Um, the game plays a little different than most shooters. In fact, that your your ship shoots in the direction that you're moving, and the faster you move, the faster your shots go. So I'll start shooting. And the best strategy, um, since it does this kind of shot mechanism, is to uh, kind of bounce against a wall and, like in pool, try and figure out a good angle to hit the uh, guys with indirectly. So, uh, let's see. So, if I want to hit the guys on this side, on, on the left side, I'm going to run against the right side and shoot a lot and have the shots bounce off. And then, hopefully, they'll hit them. Um, occasionally, you do have to move towards your enemies to shoot them. And in that case, um, if you back off the speed a little bit as you're moving towards them, the shots will be in front of you. you. You'll be really close to your shots, but they'll be in front of you, so you get kind of a barrier. So let's see here. Let's see if we try this out. Move towards those guys and back off a little bit. There you go. So that's like the main kind of shot strategy, is to bounce the shots around and kind of flood the screen. Um, in later levels, you don't want to shoot all the time, um, because that bonus that you get at the end of levels based on the accuracy, so even a 1% increased accuracy later levels, you get like 50,000 point bonuses which help you out. Um, so most of the enemies, when they turn on, uh, when the round starts, they start towards the edges. So if you're towards the edges when the round starts, you get these shields that turn on and you could use those shields to blow up those guys. Like this, like, yeah, the round just started and you get free shields. Um, so, um, if you play the game enough, you'll figure out how the enemies work, um, how the the big boxes and the little boxes work. Like the big box here, when it explodes, it, the walls don't hurt you, and being inside it don't hurt you either, and t unless it uh, explodes on you. Then you blow up if you're inside. Um, the little boxes that move around the screen draw uh, these lines. There's one right there. They draw these lines, and if you hit the lines, then you'll blow up when they turn red. The bad guys, the good thing is they blow up too when they hit the line. Um, so I'm using the bounce shot effect a lot. Um, and it, normally in the game you don't want to stand still too much because the, when you stand still your shots won't go anywhere. They go really slow so it's best to move around. So if you get caught standing still you, it gets really difficult. Um, later levels sometimes you do have to stand still to dodge so much stuff. Um, also, when you stand still in the game, the, um, these boxes actually appear right where you are, um, so you can't stand still. Um, so here's the accuracy. With 17%, you get, on this level, you got 20,000 points. So level 5. All the levels seem to start out easy, and then they get hard, so you get a kind of a break between the rounds. Oh, that sound was extra man. So you get it at like uh, eight seventy, around seventy thousand. You get extra man, um, and you get shields too. So, oh uh, yeah, I didn't explain the shields. So you get the free shields when the round starts, but then you also can press this button and, and uh, what button was that? The X button, and that'll turn on your shields for you. And sometimes I use those when uh, when it's inevitable that I'm going to get blown up. So that does it for the strategies. I'll do another video with uh, maybe a higher level so you can see um, a lot of stuff going on and some of the strategies being used.
So these guys, these enemies, that those X's that were just on the screen, um, they, they run towards you really fast, and they have shields too. So even if you shoot them, sometimes they turn their shields on, and you can't blow them up. I've been able to blow them up sometimes, but I usually just use my shields to blow them up, or just hopefully they get exploded by these lines by the uh, red lines that come in. So here's an example of more stuff being on the screen that you have to dodge and kind of use these these lines to your advantage. So if I'm on this side of the line, oh, oops, let's see if I can do an example. If I'm on this side, all those guys that come towards me, they blow up. So here's an example of being stuck like moving slow, but since the shields came on, I'm free, I'll use them to move out of being stuck. Um, so, there's also examples of standing still, not a good idea um, in the game. It's always clear space out for yourself whenever those shields uh, turn on. on